lesson, we will determine the measure of a missing angle from a diagram and then classify the angle as acute, obtuse, or right. For A, we're asked to find the measure of angle one. Here's angle one formed by ray LW and ray LV. We're also given the measure of the larger angle, angle SLV equals 135 degrees. And also the measure of this angle, angle SLW equals 88 degrees. So the sum of the measures of these two angles is equal to 135 degrees, and therefore the measure of angle one must equal 135 degrees minus 88 degrees. Again, the measure of the large angle minus the measure of this angle must leave us with the measure of angle one. So the measure of angle one must equal 135 degrees minus 88 degrees, which equals 47 degrees. So the measure of angle one equals 47 degrees. For B, we're asked to find the measure of angle two. Angle two is this angle here, formed by ray XH and ray XE. Notice how we're given the measure of angle HXG as 113 degrees. And we're also given the measure of angle EXG, this angle here, which measures 21 degrees. From the diagram, notice the measure of angle two plus 21 degrees must equal 113 degrees. And therefore, the measure of angle two must equal 113 degrees minus 21 degrees. So the measure of angle two equals 113 degrees, the measure of the large angle minus the measure of the small angle, which again will leave us with the measure of angle two. 113 degrees minus 21 degrees equals 92 degrees. The measure of angle two equals 92 degrees. Now for part C, we're asked to classify angle one and angle two as acute, obtuse, or right. The measure of angle one is 47 degrees. Because 47 degrees is between zero degrees and 90 degrees, or greater than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees, angle one is an acute angle. Angle two measures 92 degrees. 92 degrees is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, or 92 degrees is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, and therefore angle two is an obtuse angle. I hope you found this helpful.